Hello everyone, Zio and Zimmy here, and welcome back to more Zimbly Chronicles 3. Last time, we saw Mountain get blown up by N. No, not the Pokemon N. The N from this game. That'd be, that'd be kind of funny, but also kind of here like go, worrying. I'll follow your lead. Go!
We probably got a lot of experience from just that fight. Woo! Should be reaching Mac the Wildwood soon. I hear it's tough going inside. We'd best be on the lookout. And this was the area I'm most looking forward to. Watch the moss, guys. Mind you don't slip. Whoa. Yeah! <laughs> he says, falling flat on his ass himself. Oh, yeah. Bloody hilarious. You're always taking the mick out of me. Noah. Huh? Did you say something? Oh, for... Don't come crying if you fall. You seem like you're a million miles away. Lot on your mind? Yeah. Kinda. Uh. Uh, Mio! Ah, uh, thank you. Are you okay? Yeah, I just lost my footing for a second. I I'm okay. For now, I'm okay. For now? Are you not feeling a hundred percent? Ah, nah, nothing like that. I'm totally fine, promise. Like I said, I just miss my footing. Hmm. If you start feeling worse, just say. I don't want you hiding it. Mm. You're a kind man, aren't you? I, I I'm just being polite. Whoa! <laughs> oh. So what was on your mind, earlier? Yeah, that light. I was wondering if it had anything to do with us. You think maybe... could it have been something that Mobius did? Huh? We know that they're hunting us. Mm. Tyon, you told us before... that our consoles were actually the same. Yeah. I did say that. After that, nobody said so, but we were all thinking it. The war between Agnes and Kevez and the consoles. Or rather, Mobius. They must be connected somehow. It could be that all the fighting, it might be that it's all orchestrated according to Mobius. And to them, Ouroboros only spell trouble. Since we keep wrecking their flame clocks and all, they must really hate us messing with their stuff, I guess. So we're one big thorn in their side. Hmm. It does stand to reason that's why we're their targets. But it doesn't tell us anything about why our colonies fight. Any theories? Not as yet. But I figure... Isn't discovering that our real objective here, right? If we seek out the city, maybe we'll find answers. One way to know. Anyone feel like taking a break? Project a blade. Was it protect? This is a nice find. Oh, a container. This place not bad. Hey, this one means not business. bad at all. We're not here to fight for now. area I 
what you see the most from trailers. The MACFA? Well, would. Man, those Mobius mooks. They make my feathers stand on end. Ending people's lives like it doesn't matter. Oh, what a sick joke. Their word for people like that? Know what Nopon say? No idea. Tell us. Super villain pon. Riku, what does that mean then? It'd be the extreme bad guy. Ah, I think I get it. Meme? What's up, Manena? Ben, I know we're in Mio and friends, super villain pon. You're labeling us? Labeling. Because friends used to end lives also. <sighs> that not make them super villain pon? I mean, it's not like we ever had a choice or anything. It was them or us. So when no choice, not fall under definition then. None of us ever fought because we wanted to. It's just how it worked. How people worked. And the world. So, world is super villain pon. Huh? Since it make everyone do nasty things, world is bad guy. The world is bad. Huh, I never thought of it like that. Now that you mention it, what in the world are we even here for? I wouldn't strain your brain too much. Sounds like you have. What gave you that idea? Cut the snark, just tell me. The end point of it is suicide. Say what? If you don't want to hurt others, you'll end up denying your own right to survive. Eventually, you come to the conclusion that the world may well be better off without your presence. The only resolution then is to erase the self, to die. See, pointless. Isn't that taking it too far? The world doesn't just vanish because you've closed your eyes. What? The moon. Think about it. Why is it that the moon shines? Just because we're watching? Of course not. Even if humans were gone, it would shine on, illuminating the land beneath. And yet, we're the ones that give meaning to it. We say, bit dim tonight, or looks brighter than usual, eh? Similarly, we can now imbue the world with meaning or change it. It's a privilege we were lucky to obtain. And that's the power of Ouroboros. We're obliged to use it. We can make a difference. So we don't become super villains. That's one thing to aim for, at least. Right? We've never been here before. Of course you haven't. <sighs> Good thing we found this. To be in this sort of area. Hey, you sure we're going the right way, guys? Mmm, well, it's a path, at least. Looks like it's gonna be a real pain getting through here. True, but we don't have the luxury of loitering. Well, I don't see any other road to take, so let's just get this over with. Here. Judy, look out!
What? What the? An ambush? Ah! Weapons! Quick! Natural selection. No, it's your dealing with me.
We just want to pass through. We're not looking for trouble. Come on, guys. What's your problem? Juniper! Imogen's at her limit. She can't keep going. Huh? Spark! And we could have had their life, too. So close. <gasps> That's very unfortunate. We'll have to retreat, then. What was all that about? Weirdos. Noah? What's wrong? I was just thinking. About that archer, they seem quite the formidable opponent, to be sure. That's true, but there was something else about them. Say, you don't think... Those soldiers' flame clocks. They might be getting low. Oh, come on, Noah. You'd better not be thinking of offering your assistance. It's hard to put into words, but something's off. What, and you think we have time to be traipsing around on this whim of yours? It really bothers you? Yeah. Give it up, Tyon. Once I was like this, there's no stopping him. Oh, why do I bother? Besides, Noah's intuition's usually pretty on the mark. We could just take a look. A, a tiny little peek? Fine. I can see no amount of reasoning is going to dissuade you. However, if it turns out to be nothing, we head straight back and move on. Acceptable? That's fine. Okay, let's move. We should be able to catch up to them if we follow their tracks. Falling footprints. Noah, you know how folks are when their flame clock runs low. They'll come on us like starved beasts. Yeah, I know. But I can't just turn a blind eye. This one means business.
Judging by how the tracks stop here, it seems that this is where those soldiers pass through. Through here? But how? Hmm. Doesn't look easily traversable, does it? Yeah, I can't see us getting across there anytime soon. We could always take a detour. Look, this way. Yeah. Thanks, Tyon. Like I said, we can't afford to be hanging around here. Come on, we haven't got all day. Nimble little so and so's slided down here on a rope. I wonder if they could teach me to do that. This is crazy. There was a colony here? That's right. This is an abandoned colony. Please listen to us. We didn't come here to fight you. Mm. We can free you from your flame clock. Free us? You don't have much time left on yours, do you? We can help you with that, so if you just... Stop attacking you? Yeah. Hmm. All right. I'll hear you out. Uh... Thank you. Please, come in. They're still wary of us. Can't let our guard down. We got new folks on the map. Colony town. Not a lot of people around. New colonies on yeah. the grid. It's quite unlike any other colony. Even for a place this tumble down, the people here seem so resigned. Yeah. It feels like it's completely cut off from the outside world. I've seen a few colonies with dwindling flame clocks before, but this one is especially bizarre. It's like they're not trying to survive here at all. Do you get that impression? Back when I was stationed at Lambda, I'd heard rumors about Colony Tau. What did they say? That deep in the forest, there's a colony with some very peculiar customs and traditions. This is my first time seeing it in reality, but I never expected it to be so run down. Did you have any dealings with it? None at all. This is just hearsay from Commander Izzard. Anyway, we should hurry. Let's smash the flame clock and free everyone. It being an abandoned colony, we are continually starved of sufficient life sources. Wait. Are you the commander? That's right. Sorry, I failed to tell you before. I am Juniper, and it's my job to lead Colony Tau. If that's so, then surely you must know who we are. I'm afraid I know nothing. Huh. We have no need of such information. Juniper told us we'd welcome you in, whoever you might turn out to be. So, that's the rule. We don't ask questions. But you attacked us back there. Our scouts told us about some monsters in the forest they've never seen before. So, we sent them out on a hunt. But then they bumped into you en route. They must have figured it'd be more efficient to get you out of the way first. So, contrary to our plan, we were made to retreat. Oh yeah? What about your consul? Where are they hiding? I told you, this is an abandoned colony. Our consul rarely visits us. You're in such a strange situation. All the more reason to get you out of this predicament. I think you guys are getting the wrong end of the stick here. It's true. We aren't afraid of Colony Tau's flame clock running out. All it means is the end of our days gazing at our ever-diminishing supply. But you could die! Uh-huh. As if we just let you waltz in and break our flame clock. And we all have to perish someday. If our lives should expire, then we'll sink into silence, darkness, oblivion. We'll return to the Earth. 
Yes, but you can't just... The land will take us, and we will simply be. That's how it is at Colony Tau. No one will ever think of us, and yet here we are. Slowly but surely, we are withering. We don't always find the nutrition that we need to live. If Colony Tau cannot accumulate the vital flames it needs, then it proves only that we were too weak. And in nature, the weak are destined to perish. The logic would dictate that nature is pushing you to become stronger. If we set you free, you won't have to worry about all this crap. We neither worry nor fear for what may come to pass. We've already lost so many of our friends and allies. And every time we return to their bodies to the Earth, such will be our fate. What's the point of fearing the inevitable? We know we're gonna die. What's wrong with us living the way we always have? But how do you live without hope? It will spell the end of the story that our predecessors weaved for generations. A tale cut short. I would argue that it feels a little melancholy. In that sense, if we were to be freed from the flame clock, then... Juniper! Bad news! Tell me. The monsters are coming straight for the colony, and they already took one of us down. No. They came all the way here. We'll join you. We got new folks on the map. Mm. Juniper, we need orders. This is perfectly fine. We'll defeat them right here. Juniper, what are you? Ask us later. We'll back you up. Thank you. I'll fight to the best of my ability as well. Here we go! We got new folks on the map. <laughs> Butterfly, blade, multiply,
overkill. Liam's okay. He's still alive. Thank the flames. I'm so glad we made it in time. I'm so glad. Again, accept my thanks. We couldn't have done this without you. Don't worry about it. <sighs> I suppose it's strange of me to talk about the laws of nature when I fear losing my friends. Not at all. Honestly, that seems like the most natural thing of all. When you told me that you would release us from the flame clock, I thought that... If you really were telling the truth, it would make life easier. But at the same time, I began to hate the fact that I was looking for a way out. Looking up at our clock, seeing the life ebbing away. I'd already accepted my fate. And letting go of that status quo, wretched though it was, after so long, I was scared of what might happen if we did. Juniper. Noah. Your words at the time seemed so appealing to me. I could not destroy the collective efforts that became the colony and everything it represents with my own two hands. But then you said you would destroy it for us. We'd be guilt-free. If that isn't appealing, then what is? You must have been aware of how tragic it is to simply await death. That's why you invited us, isn't it? Even now, I'm not afraid of dying. But I hated the idea of losing those I hold dear. When I saw my friend lying there, I remembered what you told me, and for a brief moment, I felt the grip of fear. I felt so weak and helpless, yet at the same time, I didn't want to let go of my dear friend. So I must have closed myself off. I stopped thinking, closed my eyes, and covered my ears. Perhaps I was simply waiting for the inevitable release. Even so, we have to keep thinking. That's right. Even if there are things we'd rather not see, we still need to look. And breaking out of your shell, scrambling in desperation for a way to escape despair. That's not what I call being weak. You've defended this place for so long. Why? Because you're strong. And once you're no longer shackled by the rules of the flame clock, you can accept a different reality. You can become stronger still. I know it. We can. You can. It won't be easy. Far from it. But we'll help you. Juniper, it's your call. We've made it this far thanks to you. Yes, I suppose so. If there is a possibility that you can release us from the clock, then please. And if not, it's not like anything's changed. <laughs> Very true. If you can't break it, I can live with that too. Nothing changes without a reason, without a cause. Perhaps this event will teach me to see things in a new light.
Here we go. I see acceptance is actually surprisingly easy when it comes down to it. I think it probably is, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry if this seems rude, but could I ask another favor of you? Sure. I'd like to learn much more of the world, become a stronger individual. To that end, is there any chance I could accompany you? What do you say, guys? We could certainly do with someone of Juniper's caliber. It'd be reassuring to have you on board. You're very welcome to join. Is your colony going to be okay, though? Can they get on without you? Colony Town needs to undergo change, too. We need to extend our knowledge and grow. So I'd like you to take me on a trip, somewhere far away, and show me something new. A journey of discovery, huh? I guess that's another thing we need in order to grow. Might be an idea to send some of our younger recruits out, too. Could be a good lesson. It's time to breathe new life into our colony. Let us break free from the chains that once bound us. I guess I'm still hanging about, though. Can't have us all gallivanting about the place. Your consul really doesn't bother to show up, huh? Even after we broke the flame clock? you think they'd know. Better this way, if you ask me. Still, we shouldn't rule out the possibility that they'll make trouble for you. If something happens, you tell us immediately, okay? Sure, can do. We'll be counting on you. Well, we don't have all day. I think it's about time we made tracks, no? You're... <sighs> time to move, then. Well, then, everyone? Ah, don't worry about us. You know we can handle ourselves. We'll prove that Colony Tau can be so much more. Yes, I'm sure it will be. Off you go, then. Skedaddle! The colony's staying right here, waiting for your return. Quest complete. It's a pleasure. Why Noah? Finally! We can do cancel or cancellation. We got new folks on the map. Well, here we go. Some relationships changed. Come on, don't fail me now. Slow climb. Progress for him that far? Or Wildwood? Aim, I think we could slide down that thing. Here we go! Woohoo! This gets 
the blood pump in, eh? We've so got to do that again! Could that be a path? Hey, it that looks like a way forward. What the stuff? Where did this come from? Careful, here it comes. Mysterious Raider. Jesus. It, it disappeared? Uh, what just happened? It's likely we're being pursued. I've never seen a leopardess like that before. Could it be a new model? I don't think we'd get very far theorizing about it. Let's hurry on the head. Fair enough, but we should stay on our toes until we leave the woodland at least. Wait, that was just a quest? Out of the frying pan and into the fire. I want Kevez and Agnes are both fully mobilized. We'll have to pick them off one at a time.
Not to worry, just stick to the plan. Oh, really? Been spotted. If we can find a campsite just for now. Everyone is emergency. What's up, Manana? Manana cannot. I don't know how that go on like this. One extra set. We have been walking since Colony Tower, I suppose. We can find a good place to pull us out of camp, okay? Meh! Plan, need more dinner. Be strong just a little, a little longer, can't you, huh? Just a little? Fine. But the mama and I are very, very starving today. We need to make dinner soon, and everyone must help cook. Sure, well, we'll chip in. Right, guys? I'm curious to see what tactics you have in place surrounded by so much nature. What say we go hunting together? I'm fairly well versed in that. No one can fight on empty batteries. I definitely feel stronger. Discuss. Hey, we gotta talk. Cook. I may have eaten more than my fill. I just saw you stuffing your cheeks. The rations should have been divided equally. Manana walked more than you used to today. Tommy was rumbly grumbly. Not much we can do, though. Not now. Manana, look, we've still got a ways to go. So you're gonna have to get used to rationing stuff out, okay? Completely gone! <gasps> What's up? What's wrong? What did you say was gone? I think she was yelling about food. What? No way! For real! French Shaw did not just put elsewhere and forget. Nuh uh. I'm positive it was right here. Indeed. I checked it myself before I turned in. Don't tell me someone scoffed the whole lot. Ah, oh, no way. Nah. Nah, nah, will leave no plate unpolished. That awful, false accusation! Not even Manana ever stooped to such crude, vulgar behavior. All right, all right, we get it. Just chill out already. 
Manana refused to become frosty. This is now a matter of honor and dignity. For starters. I know Manana was feeling a bit peckish, but she can't have eaten up the lot. So who then? Hey, check it. A feather? But what kind? I found traps here. Nobody's blaming you here. These footprints. I think they're turkin. Mystery solved then. A turkin feather. So they raided our supplies. Lands can stop apology. Honor and dignity of Manana left in tatters for vile and baseless accusation. Come on, please, lighten up already. All accusations aside, we're really strapped for food. Guess we'll have to go foraging. I concur. Luckily, this area is pretty bountiful all in all, so we might not be too hard-pressed. Well, better get to it. Right. Okay. Anyway, that clearly too much eat. Manana is bottomless pit. Meh meh? What? Well, how Riku know Manana is dainty eater? Not denying. Lies and deceit. On this day of days, Manana will have retribution! <laughs> Looks like we've got ourselves a runner. Slipped out from the castle. Is this okay? He could get in touch with Ouroboros. Won't that impact our previous arrangements? Not to worry. If he does make contact, they'll come. <laughs> really? Ouroboros are simply like that. Hmm. Well, if you say so, we can probably take your word. Right, O? Hmm, certainly. As you say, P, we probably can take his word. Since we're already out here gathering food, we can think about building a reserve of stuff that will keep it for a while. That's a good idea. What would that be? Mushrooms, nuts, that sort of thing. I'm on it. By the way, when the targets go into our camp, did no one seriously notice? Nope. Not even slightly. Not even a tiny bit. Riku was busy sawing logs all the last night. I'm sorry, you guys. Worked a lot yesterday. I'm sure you were su just super pooped. You never missed something as obvious. As Turk and Fistips on a good day, Mimi. I think it's safe to say we were all practically guilty of neg negligence at the time. Indeed. However, we should also reconsider our storage arrangements for the future. Oh well, it's wire on the bridge now. No point talking locks after the urn has been already been bolted, am I right? Let's just get to the searching already. Very well. Hey, is that... An Anlund? An Anlund? It's hard to find... It's hard to fill all mushrooms alone. I say we hunt some meat as well. Woohoo! Let me some iron gathering. Is sparking amazing. Guess Ooh. we know what's on the menu today, then. We'll do this quest. They found us. You're dealing with me. You hit Come here. I got something for you. Let's 
Much relief. Glad Riku had just power frame last night. Should perform 30% better than leading brand. What's she on about, leading brand? I get that we're weaker than Agnians, so we need this to get on more of an even footing in combat, but... Friends say but. Why but? We just need oomph, you know, like kapow, sort of thing. Sound effects not help comprehension. Oh, you know, like that doodad Noah has. Doodad? Ujima Flip. You know what I mean. Don't make me say it. What friend want to use for? Uh, well, I... Not on your end by any chance. I... If so, Riku have to pass. Oh, come on. So Riku gets right. <sighs> Backing up. This plan of Lance, no a privy to it? Make decision without consult allies? Bad form. But he's our enemy. And who decide that? Your never say himself? That he enemy? He did. I did. In absence of complete picture? Well, uh, he's different. So after me just once, Lance make up mind? <sighs> then... What are we gonna do? Only thing friends can. Keep moving forward. How's that gonna solve anything? Should never have asked. Also, do that, not that kind of thing. Go foraging for mushrooms next time because we're running out of time. Next time on Single Blade Chronicles 3, we're going hunting.